Welcome once again to Shelf Life Book Reviews Online. As always, I thank you for taking the time to watch my videos and hopefully you do find them informative and when you go to your local bookstore, you will consider purchasing the book that I'm about to review for you. And it is really a very highly recommended book. The book is called The Autumn Ghost and it's how the battle against a polio epidemic revolutionized modern medical care by Hannah Wunsch. This is published by Greystone and it retails for $39.95. Um, most of us, um, the only um, epidemic or pandemic that we've experienced uh, was COVID uh, very recently. And, but many, many years ago, you know, well over uh, a century ago, polio was uh, a disease that was killing countless people. Uh, this book looks at uh, the history of polio and it is very very informative. The author is a critical care physician at Sunnybrook Medical Center and uh, she really really researched this extensively. Uh, she talks about polio. Um, it was an epidemic back in New York back in 1916 when 6,600 people died of the disease and uh, at the time they were focusing on causes and some of the causes they thought were flies and cats and dogs and because of this uh, 8,800 cats and dogs were slaughtered because they believed that they were contributing to polio. Um, of course they were very wrong. Now Franklin Delano Roosevelt, uh, former president of the United States, he contracted polio in 1920 and because of this he later started uh, the March of Dimes in 1938 um, to you know collect money to help in to research uh, a polio. Now the book's main focus is on uh, the polio epidemic of the 1950s more specifically in Copenhagen where uh, countless children um, it was mainly children uh, though, though adults do get polio as well and the author looks at um, a gentleman called Bjorn Ibsen and uh, he got into medicine he was an anesthesiologist and he also was looking into why polio was suddenly so rampant in the area in local hospitals and uh, he had a lot of theories and one of his theories was um, he thought that uh, if you put po positive pressure ventilation intubation into the trachea um, it would help pump oxygen into the lungs and help those with polio. Now of course iron lungs were created. I'm, I'm sure many of you have seen pictures of these huge machines where people had to go into the iron lungs uh, basically to help them breathe so they would survive. And um, over time they modified the iron lungs. Now uh, for many uh, a lot of people were put into iron lungs before it was necessary so they would um, sort of be prepared for the iron lung so it wouldn't be quite as traumatic. And uh, the author just really has done her research extensively well. Uh, impeccable research. And she even has a most interesting um, note of a school teacher and her name was Eleanor Abbott in 1948, uh, she was in her 30s and she contracted polio. And so she went to a polio ward where there were, were a lot of children there. So she created um, a game for the children to play. It was a board game and um, kids had a lot of fun with it. And so they said, you know, this is really great. You should go to a toy company. So she went to Milton Bradley with a prototype uh, of the you know, little board game that she invented? Guess what it was? Candyland, which became one of the most popular games of all time. You know, she started it, and uh, all because she had polio. So that's a fascinating story, too. Um, throughout the book, uh, you will see so much uh, research, so many facts uh, leading uh, to present day. Now, they say polio has been uh, pretty well eradicated, but there are um, post-polio syndrome, 
where people many, many years later who had polio um, suddenly acquire similar symptoms to polio. So it's, uh, it's sort of like COVID. You know, they talk about COVID long haul that, you know, uh, years later you can suddenly get the symptoms or you can have it for life. But in The Autumn Ghost, um, the author talks about all aspects of, you know, how it was treated, how it was perceived. In fact, uh, at times they even gave electric shocks to people, you know, to try to control the polio. So if you're looking for a great medical book, if you're um, someone who's, who's into medical medicine, uh, medical student, uh, this book is definitely fascinating. Uh, it will get your interest from first page to last. So go have a look for The Autumn Ghost because it is very, very highly recommended reading. So if you do buy the book, please let me know if you do agree with my analysis of the book. So thank you for watching my video. Until we meet again, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.